Welcome back to Detective Jodicon Adventures. I'm Spoiled Milk! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it this funny, man. Okay, so uh, uh, we're going to talk to Detective uh, Lexi, whatever. Uh, I forgot what her last name Rivers? Rivers, yes. Lexi okay. Rivers. Yeah. Uh, what voice did I have for her? I don't even remember. Uh, I we're, was, we're in a new recording session now. So. I think it was like a slightly, like a higher pitched version of my voice that's trying to be feminine but failing. Yeah, go for it. Um, you're one lucky dog, Snack. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to be careful? Do you get it now? I can't be around to pull your ass out of the fire all the time anymore. I don't even know how I would have handled the board of inquiry and your sister if you'd actually been hurt. I'm sorry, Detective Rivers. Our assailant got the drop on us due to my negligence and lack of technical prowess. It's because I suck. This is all because of my failure. Oh, wow. Not snacks. That's literally what you yeah. said. Okay. Blame me, not him. It's my fault, I like, not his. I like how this game really tries to be Hideo Kojima by saying, here is the thing. Here is the thing phrased slightly differently. And here it is one more time, just in case. Yeah. Uh, it, it feels very Kojima. It's like dripping Kojima off of the characters. Yeah, because the robot fresh off the assembly line is going to know how to handle this kind of thing better than the supposedly hard-boiled journalist you're carting around. Well, actually... Detective Rivers, I think I'll tell you the whole truth, since Snack trusts you. Keep it under your hat, though, metaphorically, because you're not wearing one. I'm actually a prototype designed to be the first fully sapient machine. Dun dun dun! Yay! I suspect my creation is the main reason for Hayden's disappearance, beyond his normal research for parallax. My name is Turing. Whew! That's me! <laughs> yeah, good boy. Whew! Th that is a damn bigger problem than you first let on then, huh? The first machine sapient. People are going to have things to say about that. You sure know how to. Yeah, you sure know how to get yourself dropped in the drink, Snick. 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 Uh, just get it together, both of you. I really care about you, but it sounds like you're stumbling into a really dangerous situation, Snick. Also, I'm in. Oh, I'm, no, no I'm also, not in. I'm not. I'm out. I'm out. I'm starting to think that you were right. I do need to drink spoil <laughs> spoiled milk. No, no. <laughs> Someone higher up in the department is trying to delay the investigation into Hayden's disappearance. I filled out the full report and was then informed in no uncertain terms that I was to wait the entire 48 hours before opening an official case. And that's after the break-in and vandalization of his apartment was reported. It's not being squashed completely, so I don't think anyone's been bought, mm, but... Squash. Somebody definitely has some influence, enough to buy themselves some... In, eh, to buy themselves time by forcing me to follow protocol to a T. Not that I will. Because <laughs> I'm too much of a badass. But I'm going to have to keep things quiet. So stop messing around, Snick. There's certainly a story here, but if you keep bumbling around, you'll blow it. Just be careful, okay? I've got a bad feeling about this. I feel, feel uncertain. I'm not sure that this is actually going to work. This could be a disaster waiting to happen, etc., etc. I really rather you not be involved at all, but I know that's not going to happen at this point. I just have a hunch that people are going to end up dead over this. I don't want you to be one of them. Other random strangers can get murdered. That's fine, yeah, that's but fine. not you. I'm the police, <laughs> and I don't real and I really don't want to be the one making that call to your sister. Please. Uh, how about this one? I can handle myself, Lexi. Don't mother me. Or bother me. I don't know which mother, one's like. yeah. Mother. Okay. Fine, you got it. Don't smother me. Just here. I got a zapper? Ooh! You got the NES zapper. Oh, 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 oh. Does this mean the shooting gallery comes up soon? Yes. Cool. Not really. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of fun. Oh, it actually is a shooting yeah. gallery? Oh, neat. Uh, why do I always guess the thing in the game? <laughs> uh, take this and use it if you have to. Uh... Is this the same thing that I got hit with? It's not. This is a medium-range electrolaser pistol. It uses a low-power laser to create a channel of ionized gas to complete a circuit between the gun and the target. It then discharges a considerable amount of current into the air. This is a, a, a laser taser. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that actually exists. Really? Yeah. Oh, I want one. Think of it as a wireless taser of the older variety. Oh, a laser taser, yes. Yeah. 
The neural scrambler we were attacked with uses a powerful electromagnetic field to disrupt electrical signals in the target's nervous system. It's far more dangerous, and prone to be permanently damaging to the target. You got lucky. And, if you, and you're if, kicking me out of the hospital yeah. right away? If you, if, you were there, if you sustained that for any longer, you'd be rambling about spoiled milk. <laughs> this is a more suitable personal defense weapon, and it's legal to carry in Neo San Francisco without a license. Oh, God. As most tasers are. Thanks. I hope we won't need it. Me too, Snick. I'll be in touch if you find anything out. But don't hold your breath. I have a feeling my superiors are going to keep leaning on me to do nothing. Best job ever. <laughs> Back to the grind, I guess. See you. Stay safe. So yeah, uh, now that you have a zapper, you can handle things via combat now. Bum, bum, bum. But you could also handle most things in the game without combat. Oh god, I'm Jensen. Yeah, but... I'm Adam Jensen. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, you're 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 Snacky Jensen. Go for it, Snexon. You're, you're... You'd best talk to the reception roms at the desk and officially check out before we go anywhere. Because puzzled. We should also look for Dr. Fairlight's assistant, Mr. Decker. He should be somewhere around here. Anybody who uh, reads science fiction will know something about that name. I want to steal this robot. Aww. You pat the tiny rob on the head, it bleeps cheerfully. Oh, that's really cute. All right, let's talk to the mysterious person, because this is obviously the Decker guy. Let's hug him. You, not much that's tangible there, except that hair. Uh, I, uh, am I, I doing all the human voices? Is no, I can do a human voice if you want. Hmm. Okay. You must be Snack. The name's Leon Decker. Leon Kennedy Decker. <laughs> Fairlight messaged ahead that I need to pass one of his cards on to you. Here. I like how he sounds like nasally and obnoxious. It's perfect. <laughs> Hope the old man didn't ramble much. Not that I mind. I heard that, you fuck! <laughs> I hope he dies soon. I mean, hopefully he'll go soon. <laughs> Puppy, wow, okay, I actually didn't try to protect that. He's actually saying that. Um, hopefully he'll go soon and put me in his will. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> uh, do I want to talk to him? I don't want to talk to him. He's stupid. Thanks for the help, Leon. I'll be in touch. Hmm. <laughs> no problem, Snack. But... Call me Decker, yeah? Uh, you're one of the... I'll be around. If you know where to look... <laughs> Alright, he's leaving now. Goodbye. Rude, uh, crude attitude dude. Uh, let's talk to this robot. Cool. <laughs> Patient snack. My records indicate that you have been admitted for possible cranial trauma and should be confined to your bed. While I am truly delighted to see you have regained consciousness, I must insist that you return to your room to be examined by a medical professional immediately. No need. Accidentally zapped myself with my own stunner. An accidental discharge of a weapon is a serious event. I must insist that you remain for treatment. Even non-lethal stunners can have le le leave and leave and leave and much less <laughs> thing that's Lynch. a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me the damn paperwork. Very well, patient snack. I am prohibited by law from detaining you here against your will. But you should note in your release paperwork that willful early termination of medical services releases this hospital and its parent company from legal liability should your condition pers persist or worsen outside of our care. I am further required to inform you that this visit has expended the last of your year's governmentally mandated health care credits. Wow. Yeah. You will be required to provide payment or proof of private insurance for any further visits for routine or emergency medical care. Go on to healthcare.gov. Wait seven months for the website to work. Please take care to fill out all forms thoroughly and accurately. And do have a nice day. I'll do what I then... Uh, oh. Uh, I mean, yeah. Milk! Paperwork. <laughs> Your medical billing makes me glad I'm synthetic. You should look for more paying journalism work before you get shot again. You dirty little fuck. <laughs> anyway, now that we're free to leave, we should go find Tomcat and tell them about what happened. They should still be waiting for us at Stardust. Back to the club! Onward. Going in the club. Something, uh, I don't know the lyrics to that song. Going to the club and 
uh, dancing, I guess. Yeah, dancing. Do I have to show this fuck my idea again? No, I think you could just go in. Inward. Oh, whoops. Fuck. This is so imprecise. There we go. Welcome to Stardust. Oh, wow. He's got a friend. Hey, Majid. Or, or whatever the fuck your name is. Majid. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? <laughs> I'd like a drink, please. I've just been into an accident and I really need some alcohol. <laughs> What are you having? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> so many drinks these days. <laughs> Drinktionary, the free and open alcoholpedia says. Oh, I got this, sweetie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, wait, I. Ha ha ha! Sometimes I think I'm just holding up the bar rather than running it. No, I just memorized all the drinks. You're better with the customers. Sorry, I don't think we've met before. I'm Gus. Anyway, the fucking IPK is a mint-flavored soda with a swig of gin. That I don't want. A simple yummy drink for folks who don't know what else to order. I don't like mint. Thanks, huh? Oh, okay, they totally are. Yeah. Gay couple. I thought so. It happens. I thought so. Yeah. I was gonna be like, oh, but I didn't want to make the joke in case it actually was. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> they actually are. <laughs> this fucking. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll just throw it at somebody. Whatever, fuck it. I don't want to play with the drink menu for another 12 hours like I did last time. You get a fucking IDK. Oh, cool. It comes in a little, uh, in a little shot glass. Hey there, Southerner. Hey, Snick. How goes the search? Not great. Hayden's apartment was ransacked and someone stole the data catch. Shit. I can't say I saw that one coming. I figured that they'd nab anything they needed the first time they hit the place. Hmm. Any ideas who could who it could have been? The walls had been spray painted with many grotesque human revolution slogans. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible that Hayden was targeted by the organization for his work at Parallax? While my development may have been a secret, he is rather well known for his work on virtual intelligence data. A layman would not understand the critical differences between myself and a VI. VI? Oh, virtual intelligence. Do nor do I think that the average human revolution member would care to make the distinction. Are they robo racist? Of course, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it is more likely by almost fifteen percent that it is an effort to throw us off the trail. Is, is Robot a race? If this was a fantasy game, a sci-fi game, Robot would totally be would be, be a like race. a race, yeah. Yeah. It'd okay. be a weird fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we talked to a Dr. Fairlight. He offered to introduce us to someone in the human revolution. What? Yannick Fairlight? Everybody knows everybody. <laughs> er, um, when did you run into him? Oh, um, we were ambushed at the apartment with some kind of a neural stunner. We were able to leave the hospital and hurry straight here as soon as Snack regained consciousness. Well, shit. <laughs> Things sure are getting more serious than I first thought. Y'all need to keep a sharp eye out. That bastard knows you're looking now. I'm confident in Snack's ability to push on. Despite his severe brain trauma. Yeah. <laughs> he is surprisingly stubborn. You... Metal. Fuck. Metal. Uh, gear. Uh, <laughs> uh, why is Turk purple? <laughs> oh, shit. What do you know about Dr. Fairlight? Hmm. I can't say I know much about the man. Fairlight always was a, was a bit of a shut in, even back when he ran System 1, his old company. He just dropped off the face of the earth after the merger between them and Parallax. He shows up in the news once in a blue moon for some charity thing or another. But, well, it's all just a rumor. But I've heard he holds a grudge about it hotter than the Clintons after. The, after I have the, no idea. The, is that like a southern thing? I have no idea. Is it like Earps? a feud? Is that thing? is that like Earps or Earps? Earps? I don't know. Was that like the big feud? Wasn't there like a big like feud, two family feud? That was the Hat Hathaway. Hatfields and the McCoys, yeah, was, right? I, I have no idea. I have yeah. no idea. Lost no on me. Uh, I take... Ooh, wait, wait. Okay. I take care to look into this particular horse in the mouth real close, if I was you. Uh... Doesn't matter. It's the only lead we've got. 
I'll tell you what does matter. While y'all were chasing your tails, I managed to find a way into the Parallax Network. Once I'm in, I should be able to dig out any files about Hayden easily enough. I really didn't learn my lesson after not being able to touch computers for like 15 years, but who cares? <laughs> Fantastic, Tomcat. I knew Hayden's faith in you was not misplaced. How long do you think it will take you to recklessly break the law? Ah, well, uh, that's where the rubber meets the road. Parallax actually has considerably better net security than last time I cracked in. You know, like, 20 years ago. I like how the amount of time keeps getting longer. I have a bad memory. I'm just one of those poor southern bales. <laughs> I'm gonna need physical access. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good idea where, where <laughs> a node is that what the kids are calling it these days I have I'm gonna do it and I hate myself for this but I've got a good idea where there's a chode <laughs> oh god oh god why <laughs> but it ain't exactly a nice part of town <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> in fact, police have basically wrote it off as a lost cause. Not enough profit in it. I know Jess has some contacts around that area. Talk to the cat girl again. She's that girl that chewed you, you a new rear when y'all first came here. It's a tough sell, but she might be able to help y'all get in and out of that part of the city without ending up in a park bin or an organ chap shop. Chap shop. Chap shop. Chap shop. Uh, fun. I guess I'll go grovel around. Oh, grovel around. Yeah, grovel to random people. Yeah, yeah. strange. Fun. I guess I'll go grovel until she agrees to help. That's the spirit, Snick. I need a little time to get all my tools together to slice into Parallax's network. But y'all keep me updated. Maybe y'all get lucky and find that data cage too. But I ain't gonna count on it. Jess is still hanging out, is still hanging around here at Stardust, but I saw her head over to the VIP room. I like how whenever I'm voicing this this person, my uh, ability to read just flies yeah. out the window. Because I'm so focused on my throat manipulation. <laughs> throat yes, manipulation. My throat is manipulation. Is that what they call it these days? Yes, that's what you need to, to access the chode. Yeah. <laughs> It's a sex joke. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's hybrid night, and she's a popular gal. Just please remember to play nice, or her friends will thump you something fierce. I'll send Jess a message letting her know y'all are looking for some assistance, and we'll see what happens. We'll be in touch, Tomcat. <clears throat> sure thing, huh? I've got to head out of here and get started on setting up the run. Just have turn and let me know when y'all are ready. All right. So now we gotta go talk to Angry Cat Girl, and I think that we're gonna end up doing that next time on No Nostalgia Filter. I hope she doesn't say mean things. I'm a snack. <laughs> I'm a snack. Be nice. Snack and cat can be friend. <laughs> that you just unhinge your jaw. And like... That's how you make out. When just... You're <laughs> you just unhinge your jaw and just put your whole head around them. And you're like, yeah. You're getting some tongue and, and a lot of throat. I like it.